Swissborg is the official partner of my channel where you can buy, sell, hold, and more importantly, stake your cryptocurrencies. You can even earn yield on your stable coins. Sign up with my link and you'll earn up to $100 worth of their native token CHSB just for depositing 50 euros worth of crypto. Swissborg. Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's have a look at the charts, which basically are doing nothing. They're basically sideways, static, nothing. So it's uh, it's it's good in a way. It's it's not very revealing. I was looking to uh, to to watch crypto on the sidelines uh, for all of September. It seems for the majority of October as well. Um, and uh, I suppose it's the the right thing to do. Uh, we could argue that this has been the capitulation, you know, already down here, and this is maybe a double bottom. This is just all speculative stuff. The most important thing is uh, traditional markets are the thing that's going to be driving it. And uh, as we've got that pullback so far in the Dixie, which I see on Twitter now, people are starting to talk about. It's uh, you know, it's always it's always um, you know after the fact, I suppose. That people are saying this unlike this channel where i did say it two days in advance of saying that the dixie is likely to have peaked around here maybe indefinitely but certainly for a decent correction and now we're going to get that obviously the dixie closed with this bearish engulfing candle which is nice to see we've not had one of these in a little while uh, similar uh, i suppose candle uh, formation to that would have been this one and this one these brought us down to the 10 i think this is going to bring us down to the 50 as i've been saying for a little while now well i'll say for a little while for about three or four days now um S&P obviously, you know, are breaking out from its descending channel, which is bullish. Now, and things will start to get a little bit more interesting if we reach this level, which I think we will. I think we'll be moving up to around 4,000 on the S&P. That might be the area of rejection. So we want to see how crypto behaves, you know, um, leading up to that level, because I still believe that this would just be a bear market rally for the short term. We should expect nothing more than just a bear market rally. The bear market rally, as far as I could tell, would take us to around this level, roughly. Maybe, maybe a little higher. Maybe overreaching ever, ever so slightly. Maybe you know to the 200 uh, simple moving average. There's nothing bullish about this chart. Let's face it. So, uh, nor is there anything bullish about Bitcoin's chart. That, uh, that you know, what you see is what you get, which is basically you know lower. Uh, highs and currently not so much any lower lows um, unless of course you look on a, on a higher term time frame we're looking at the four hourly here because this is the formation that we've got for ourselves no buy signals no pump signals not really any reclaiming of major moving averages we're just waiting to see how this next week plays out if the uh, if the dixie continues to to come down which it, you know it, it i am I'm, I'm giving this uh, analysis based on a weekly so if we open tomorrow with the Dixie up by, you know, a percent or, or less, uh, but just opens up and closes in the green on a daily, doesn't mean the analysis is wrong. <laughs> it means that we're focused on a weekly chart. And so this is going to take, as far as I can say, I'll, I, like I say I've given a, a rough estimated time frame for us to revisit this 50 between two to six weeks. So there's going to be bumps along the way. You know, this is your seven simple moving average. We could catch a bounce on there on the weekly we have in the past. And just below that 10 exponential, that's 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 a really uh, pivotal area for, for this chart for continuation, either up or down. Um, but yeah, as far as the Bollinger Band Center is concerned. It's never really been a, a thing for the Dixie on the weekly here. It's been a little bit of a little bit of it around here, but I think if we get down to this level, I think I think it's most likely going to break. But again, it, we're talking weeks of price action here, not days, not hours, not five minutes. Um, we're talking weeks, so two to six weeks or so, and, and see where we go from there. As far as Bitcoin is concerned, descending triangle still within that. We're t we're coming up today ever so slightly, just by default from going sideways. To touch the resistance again, it is a resistance of a bearish formation, so you should expect to see a, a, a rejection from it. But you know, it doesn't have to happen. But you, I would expect to be rejected on it because it is a major resistance. We've not broken out of it so far since uh, since the peak over here where it began, August fourteenth. So a couple of months worth of price action within a bearish formation, you should expect to get rejected from it. But I, I'm pretty confident in my analysis with the Dixie. Without going into all the uh, intricate other charts as to why, because it would take up such a long period of time. And again, I've made those two videos leading up to the rejection as to why I think it's going to get rejected. So if you want to, if you want to look at that, that's that's how I predicted the Dixie to get a rejection from this level. And um, there's no point in me talking about it again now. It's just it's just be boring. But but yeah, I mean, there's it's not just the the Dixie's chart isn't how I've done it. Although that has 
had a component of, of TA. So all the other <clears throat> all the other things that I believe that feeds into the Dixie's price and price action that have uh, led to the rejection and what should be continuation further down. Uh, but yeah, Bitcoin, if we uh, get rejected from here, I wouldn't be particularly scared. We just need to ride this little area out, really. If we just start to close below 18,800, you know, closing bodies below there. We did dip down below. It got sucked straight back up, you know, above the box, which is fine. If we start to close four early candle bodies down from here, then I would expect lower and probably come down to 18 and see where we go from there. But for the moment, just keeping our eyes on Bitcoin and crypto as a whole uh, to see if we break out from here. A breakout from here is fine, uh, but a closure above this box is going to be really good. And that's where I get the uh, the feeling that we go straight up to uh, the 26,000 area, 26,600 or so, um, as I've said on, on my previous videos. It's a range break. That's what we are. We're being sandwiched between these two boxes of significance. We're getting towards the end of the apex, more or less, you know, right now. Uh, 200 exponential within the box, no moving averages below us. So it is still very much a range bound area, but getting closer and closer and closer to making its decision especially if we're going to break bullish you know, really close to making that uh, making that pivotal pivotal move up and again the dixie doesn't necessarily mean that everything goes up but i think you know with the size of the move that i'm predicting on it i think inevitably things will go up you know and uh, and crypto being the weakest of the bunch you know is is, uh, is going to take a bit more confidence uh, to resume in traditional markets before the confidence comes back into crypto because crypto is the riskiest of risk assets and the weakest of the risk assets as well, I'd say. It's pretty weak. Uh, and so people aren't willing to pile cash into it at this current moment in time. They don't really see it the way I see it. Now, when it comes to making a crash, yeah, of course, there could still be a crash. Definitely. You know, we're still within a bearish formation. We're not broken bullish yet. There could easily be a crash. Bitcoin's four-year market cycle always ends. It has ended in a crash. There could still be a crash. But we haven't crashed yet. And uh, if, we, uh, if we really think about things in terms of, you know, uh, you know what things are looking like, you know, we could we could we could argue definitely that we are in a period of accumulation have been since this capitulation. Could be, could be. The operative word being could, nobody actually really knows. Uh, I'm, I'm treating the market as one big uh, overall um, uh, change in direction now based upon the Dixie. Um, so because I've managed to spot that top, or at least in the short term, so far so good, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make the next leap to suggest that even though this is all you know, looking relatively bearish, although you could argue it's accumulation, uh, it's, not, it's not bullish yet, I, I would, I, I'll make that leap and say that, all right, I've managed to sort that Dixie situation out uh, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm confident in the way that it's going to go. Uh, I think that risk assets, including Bitcoin and uh, yeah, some cryptos, are going to go up. This might not be the bottom, but we should be looking for at least one more bear market rally. And the best way to determine all of this bear market rally, as I said, would be to look at the S&P to see if it can reclaim this area, which is about 4,000, and see where we go from there. Again, you know, th this is a giant descending triangle of its own. So if we break outside of this... For whatever reason, I find it very unlikely that we would. But if we were to, then yeah, we would say that bull, uh, already a, a new bull market has begun. Doesn't really feel like uh, the um, the overall trading environment globally is correct, you know in the right place for a, a new bull market to begin. Uh, but a bear market rally, yet again, another bear market rally looks like uh, an appropriate thing to be talking about as we speak right now anyway so i'll leave it with you there food for thought and we need the week to begin uh, with with traditional markets they're the thing that's going to drive this uh, this next move the crypto yeah it might be 24 7 but it's uh, it's 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 unable to uh, to to do anything on its own it really does need traditional markets at this moment to uh, to give it any kind of confidence to continue on its own and if it gains traction then yeah 26,000. i don't see a problem with that that'd be my my next major target for bitcoin altcoins again you know we'll have to look yeah we have to look at those individually to work out who's who and what's what because some of them look really awful uh, some of them look okay and some of them look reasonably good uh, but they aren't really i don't think they're going to be able to make the moves on their own without bitcoin at least reclaiming this zone 
uh, again adding confidence into into the market and generally speaking for altcoins because again right now you know it's going to be it's going to be difficult for any of those to move counter to whatever bitcoin wants to do recognizing right now we're approaching a resistance of a bearish formation so you should expect the resistance to to be uh, a rejection area right that's it that's all i got for you i know it's boring just repeating the same things that we are saying but next week should be the moment of reckoning and uh, we'll see how it goes but i expect two to six weeks but, uh, we'll have a five to seven percent drop on the dixie and risk assets and everything commodities alike and um, they're all going to start moving up traditional markets is still where i'm mostly interested in playing these moves because they're the ones that are going to respond most appropriately um, and and uh, I'll be more interested in crypto when we reclaim this area, arguably 20,000 to be fair, but uh, anywhere above this box should, should, uh, should, get the, uh, should get the ball rolling. Right, thanks for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Take it easy.